Hello, this is Pixel Freak, and today Kemco has released a new RPG called Symphony of the Origin. So even though this one's name kind of falls into the same bucket as many of the other generic names that Kemco's come up with for their RPGs, this is a ground up game. Apparently a lot of the games that they've released thus far on Android and iOS uh, have been ports of one sort or another. This is a ground up game that was made specifically for smart devices, and it shows. Uh, the graphics are a lot better, the localization is a lot better, the gameplay feels a lot better, um, and the price tag is a little bit higher. As normal fashion, Kemco is actually running a 50% off sale for the first however long of the initial release, so the game's $4, but normally this one I think is something like 8 or 9 bucks. So let's take a look at the game and see if it's worth that heavier price tag. So the game opens up rather anticlimactically. It gives a story and via text about some monsters showing up and a little bit about the history. It's very trite, very cliche, uh, pretty much standard RPG story elements. And then the game just kind of dumps you in. There's no flashback scene, no super awesome intro. The game just kind of starts. So jumping into the battle system, you can see here pretty standard RPG turn-based layout. Your character's on the right-hand side, the enemies are on the left-hand side. You have all your different options for attacking there at the bottom. On your right-hand side, underneath each one of the portraits for, one of you, for your characters, you have the green bar, which is your health, and then you have a stamina bar underneath the health bar. What the stamina bar does is it charges up and allows you to make your attacks, but it also serves as kind of a action points slash magic points meter as well. So when you take, it, rather than using attack, if you were to use a magic spell, you'll actually eat a larger chunk of that bar each time you take a turn. This eliminates the need for a whole other point system, like magic points, uh, and allows you basically to infinitely use all of your skills, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, it also keeps you away from the auto attack button, which is there in the bottom left-hand corner. By using your skills, you're a much more effective team, but it takes a lot more micromanagement. It makes the game a lot more fulfilling overall, even in the more random battles throughout the game. This happens to be a boss battle, so the health of the boss is there at the top of the screen in that large green bar, and kind of chipping away at it. There is a, there's other boss battles as well that have a large blue bar in addition to the green one, which as you chip away at that bar, the enemy can actually phase shift. It changes the way the enemy looks, the boss, and it also changes the way that they can possibly attack. Possibly because, well, they don't have to attack differently. Um, the one boss that I've fought so far that had that didn't actually attack any differently. Uh, the other bar that should be mentioned here is the far right hand side, the kind of blinking orange and yellow bar there. That's a finishing move bar, which is very reminiscent of Final Fantasy VII with the limit breaks. That's a shared bar though throughout your team, and you can charge it up to four different hits, and once one of your characters uses the finishing move, like right here, boom, finishing move. Uh, you can see I've used a chunk of that bar. Um, on the left hand side in the upper left hand corner you can see there's a lineup uh, kind of like Final Fantasy X. Compare things a lot to Final Fantasy in this game. Uh, it shows you who's going to take what turn and when and uh, in what order. So a, lot of, uh, a little bit of innovation with this game and a whole lot of traditional turn based elements. Overall though I really like the battle system. This one's probably the best one that Kimco's done thus far. Um, it's actually really fun to, really fun to play these fights. So another interesting system that's actually worth mentioning here is the skill system, which kind of is entangled in the weapon system as well. In the menu here, you can go to the different weapons that each character has, and here you can see on the Claymore, I actually have on the right-hand side, uh, well, you can see how much I've mastered on the right-hand side. I have Crescent Edge and Berserk as my skills that are embedded into this piece of the weapon. Now, what makes it a little bit more complex is that each one of your weapons actually has three different pieces that compose the weapon. So, for this particular sword, the Claymore, for my main character, the Claymore is the blade. And then I have the Sword Guard, which also has an additional statistic on it. And then I also have the Hilt, which has another statistic on it. For me, the blade on this character is the only thing that actually has skills. But once I've learned those skills, it actually carries on uh, no matter what weapon I have equipped. So, it's almost like... Dare I say, Final Fantasy IX. I love that I'm comparing everything to Final Fantasy. Where you learn your skills from your equipment, and then they kind of carry on with you as you go through the game. 
um, even after you've de-equipped it. So it's a pretty cool system. Uh, I've liked it so far. I haven't found anything in the field that's a weapon, but I've been able to buy some new ones in the store, um, and it, it's worked pretty well for me. Another cool system that was introduced into this game is the merit point system, which is where every five levels that you gain, you get a merit point that you're allowed to put into one of five categories, HP, attack strength, critical hits, resistance to abnormal states, and reduced stamina usage. This allows you to kind of customize your characters depending on your playstyle for that character, and allows you to kind of customize how you play through the game. Um, it's another cool, innovative, different uh, aspect of this game that wasn't in previous Chemco games that I think makes it, sets it apart and makes it a little bit better than the other games. Um, it's a pretty cool system so far. So one of my beefs with this game, as many of the recent Chemco RPGs, is that there's an in-game store um, that allows more paid content from within the game. Uh, this is all optional stuff. None of it is necessary to complete the game. However, when looking through the store, you can see here, purchasing items. There's a lot of quest items, special locations here, uh, and additional characters as well. Those are going for 40 SOP. SOP going, being the paid currency. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at how much the points are. So given what the stuff costs and how much the points are, really, if you spent 10 bucks, you'd probably buy just about anything that you'd want. The problem that I have with this is that uh, with extra characters and additional areas in the game being unlocked through money, I kind of feel shortchanged as somebody who bought an app to realize that some of the game is locked out for me uh, after I've already paid. Uh, it's unfortunate. I think it's a negative mark as far as me reviewing the game. Um, I don't like that this is here, but at the same time, it doesn't make me write the game off in its entirety. I'm sure I'm going to have a great time playing through the game, and I will play through the game without these options. Um, but I don't think that, that it necessarily uh, kills the game. So overall, my verdict on this game is that this is the best RPG that Kimco has released on Android thus far. I don't know that this one's on iOS yet. I don't think it actually is. If it is, I'll put a link in the video description, but I'm pretty sure this one's still in development there and will be out sometime in the near future. Uh, this game, though, uh, better graphics than anything Kemco's done before. The animation's awesome. The user interface is way better. The battle system, by far, is the best battle system that I've seen in any of their games. Um, I I'm really impressed with this one overall. This is probably the first Kemco game that, when I put it down, I want to pick it back up. So I have a really good feeling that I'm actually going to get all the way through this one before I lose my steam on this one. I'm going to recommend this one big time to anybody that likes RPGs, especially for the sale price. If the sale's still going on when you watch this, run, go out, buy it. It's worth $4. This game is totally worth $4. So the name of the game is Symphony of the Origin. It's out right now on Google Play for Android, probably coming soon to iOS. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, make sure to like this video, and until next time, this has been Pixel Freak.